Tuscany, Italy feels like a dream brought to life. With rolling hills dotted with cypress trees, ancient vineyards, charming medieval towns, and an abundance of art and culture, it's a region that captures the imagination. If you're planning your first trip to Tuscany, this guide will help you explore the must-see sites, experience the local culture, and savor the flavors of this beautiful region. Located in central Italy, Tuscany is one of the most picturesque and culturally rich regions in the country. It's famous for its stunning landscapes, rich history, and world-renowned cuisine and wine. Florence, the capital, is often the starting point for most visitors. But the region offers much more beyond its famous cities. The best times to visit Tuscany are in the spring, from April to June, and in the fall, from September to October. During these months, the weather is pleasant, the crowds are fewer, and the region's natural beauty is at its peak, whether in bloom or harvest. While summer is also a popular time, it can be hot and crowded, particularly in the main tourist spots. Most international travelers arrive through Florence's Amerigo Vespucci Airport or Pisa's Galileo Galilei Airport. From there, you can either rent a car or use the extensive train network to explore the region. Renting a car gives you the freedom to visit the more remote areas at your own pace. But if you prefer public transportation, Tuscany's trains and buses are reliable and cover most of the key destinations. Tuscany offers a wide range of accommodation options, from luxurious hotels to charming agriturismos or farm stays and vacation rentals. Staying in a central location like Florence, Siena, or Lucca allows easy day trips to other parts of the region. If you want a more rural experience, consider booking a stay at an agriturismo, where you can immerse yourself in the Tuscan countryside. Must-visit destinations in Tuscany. Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance, is a treasure trove of art, history, and architecture. The iconic Duomo, the Uffizi Gallery, and the Ponte Vecchio are unmissable. Strolling through the narrow streets, visiting local markets, and enjoying a leisurely meal at a trattoria are all part of the Florentine experience. Siena is a beautifully preserved medieval city known for its historic center and the famous Paleo horse race. At the heart of Siena is the Piazza del Campo, one of Europe's greatest medieval squares. Climbing the Torre del Mangia provides panoramic views, and the Siena Cathedral is a masterpiece of Italian Gothic architecture. Pisa is widely recognized for its leaning tower, but the city offers much more. The Piazza dei Miracoli, where the leaning tower stands, also includes the cathedral and baptistery. Exploring the less touristy parts of Pisa reveals charming streets and local eateries. Lucca is known for its well-preserved Renaissance walls that encircle the historic city center. Renting a bike to ride along the walls, exploring the cobbled streets, and visiting the stunning Lucca Cathedral are all recommended activities. Lucca is also a great place to enjoy the local cuisine, with plenty of cafes and restaurants offering traditional Tuscan dishes. San Gimignano, often referred to as the medieval Manhattan, is famous for its skyline of medieval towers. Wandering through the town's narrow streets, visiting the Duomo, and enjoying panoramic views of the surrounding countryside from the Torre Grossa are highlights. This small town is also known for its local white wine, Vernaccia di San Gimignano. The Chianti region is the heart of Tuscany's wine country, famous for its vineyards and olive groves. Taking a scenic drive through the rolling hills, stopping at a local winery for a tasting, and enjoying the picturesque villages like Grieve and Chianti are perfect ways to experience the slower pace of life and the true essence of Tuscany. Val d'Orcia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its stunning landscapes, the rolling hills, cypress trees, and picturesque farmhouses make this area one of the most photographed in Tuscany. Visiting the charming towns of Pienza, Montalcino, and Montepulciano is a must, and tasting the region's famous wines and cheeses should not be missed. What to do in Tuscany? Tuscany is home to some of the world's greatest art and architecture. In Florence, visiting the Uffizi Gallery to see works by Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci is a must. The Academia Gallery houses Michelangelo's David, an iconic masterpiece. Siena's Cathedral and the frescoes in the Palazzo Publico also deserve attention. Taking a cooking class in Tuscany is an experience you shouldn't miss. Many towns offer classes where you can learn to make traditional dishes like pasta, ribolita, and cantuccini. These classes often include a visit to a local market where you can select fresh ingredients before heading to the kitchen. 
Tuscany is synonymous with wine, and no visit would be complete without tasting some of the region's best. The Chianti region is the most famous, but areas like Montalcino, home of Brunello, and Montepulciano are also renowned for their wines. Many vineyards offer tours and tastings, giving you a chance to learn about the winemaking process. For a relaxing break, consider visiting one of Tuscany's natural thermal baths. The region is dotted with hot springs, many of which have been turned into luxurious spas. The towns of Saturnia, Bagno Vignoni, and Montecatini Term are famous for their thermal waters and offer a perfect way to unwind. What to eat in Tuscany? Tuscany's cuisine is based on simple, fresh ingredients and traditional recipes. Some of the must-try dishes include bistecca alla fiorentina, a large, thick T-bone steak often shared among friends or family, ribolita, a hearty soup made with bread, beans, and vegetables perfect for a cool evening, and pappardelle al cinquiale, wide ribbon pasta served with a rich wild boar ragu. For dessert, cantuccini, almond biscuits dipped in vin santo, a sweet dessert wine are a classic Tuscan treat. Tips for traveling in Tuscany When planning your trip to Tuscany, it's important to have a flexible itinerary. The region has so much to offer that it's impossible to see everything in one trip. Prioritize your must-see destinations, but leave some room for spontaneous discoveries. Learning a few basic Italian phrases can greatly enhance your experience. While many people in tourist areas speak English, a little Italian can help you connect more deeply with the locals. Comfortable footwear is essential. Tuscany involves a lot of walking, often on cobblestone streets or uneven terrain. Being prepared will make your explorations more enjoyable. Respect for local customs is also important. Italians value their traditions, so it's good to be aware of things like dressing appropriately when visiting churches and following local dining etiquette. Lastly, remember to embrace the slower pace of life in Tuscany. Take your time to enjoy a leisurely meal, a scenic drive, or a sunset over the hills. The slower pace is part of what makes Tuscany so special. Conclusion Tuscany is a region that captures the heart and soul. Whether you're exploring its art-filled cities, tasting its world-famous wines, or simply soaking in the beauty of the countryside, your first visit to Tuscany will be unforgettable. With this guide, you're ready to embark on a journey that will leave you longing to return.